Okay, so with this tutorial we're going to look at some differences between uh, Max, the control co component of, of Max 7, and MSP, which is the signal processing component. Um, and we will then come back and, and perhaps integrate some of this with, with, the, uh, with the MIDI stuff we looked at in um, the first part of this tutorial. <clears throat> so this is a very, very simple patch. Um, it is basically an SF play object, uh, which is a means of uh, importing a, f a sound file into Max to play back. Um, now this is an MSP object, so we can tell it's an MSP object because it's got a tilde on the end of it. Um, and the other thing we can see about this object is that coming from it are slightly different kinds of uh, cables than we are used to. So we've thus far we've really been looking at these grey cables, and these grey cables denote um, control message cables. Um, I'll explain the what that is in a minute. Versus um, these stripy ones, which are signal cables. The difference is basically that with a control cable, uh, you send a message only once, or at least uh, when you trigger a message box, or when uh, Metro might send um, a trigger. Whereas with a signal data, it's being sent all the time. All the time meaning uh, 44,100 times a second, or at least at sample rate. Uh, so 44,100 times a second, there is a number uh, more specifically a floating point number, although we haven't really talked about floating points yet, uh, being sent from SF Play to, uh, well, to this object here, which is a, uh, we'll call it an easy DAC, um, so uh, a digital audio converter. So from this object, this communicates with the sound card on our computer. Um, we can find a bit more information about that uh, in uh, a dialogue that we'll look at in a minute. Um, <clears throat> but that, I think, kind of um, expresses the, the differences, the main differences between uh, Max and MSP. MSP, as I say, is the signal processing component which makes sound, or allows us to make sound, or allows us to control sound, um, whereas the Max part is the bit that allows us to uh, run or, or to, to, to get m musical events to happen. So um, what can you do with SF Play? Um, well, if I lock the patch, um, we can, as I say, it's, it's a sound file player, hence SF. Um, so the first thing to do inevitably is to, to open a file that we can play back. So if I click on open, what's happening there is that this is a control message. So um, the, the word open, or as far as Max is concerned, it's just a, a sequence of letters. So it's a symbol um, that is sent to SF Play. But SF Play recognizes that the, that symbol um, is to do a certain thing. It's been programmed to recognize the sequence of letters O-P-E-N as meaning open a dialog box um, and uh, allow us to, to choose a sound. So I will choose a sound. Uh, let's choose crash. So SF Play has now got a sound in it. Um, it's not actually going to do anything at the moment. Uh, we don't actually see that anything's happened, but um, if I turn on the Easy DAC, which is this one here, so I click it and it will turn on signal processing in Max. So that's another thing that perhaps is worth knowing, um, is that signal processing is not happening all the time in Max. Um, and that's because sometimes if you were to be uh, programming, uh, you don't want the CPU usage that is required for signal processing to be going on all the time. So we can turn that off, perhaps, if we wanted to, to program, but we can leave it on uh, just as easily. You'll notice that when I did turn it on, uh, you also see an indicator down here to say that audio is on or off. Um, so you could turn audio on and off down here as well. Handily, there's also a volume control for overall level in Max down here too. So I've opened my sound file, I turn on my audio, and now I can click this toggle up here to tell SF Play to play back that sound, which it does rather quietly. So I'll turn up my 
volume. Uh, try again. Okay. So the toggle, as you can see, uh, either plays the sound back or doesn't. So in the same way as um, with a gate object or a metro object, we have a toggle object which is outputting a 1 or a 0 and then connected to the SF play, uh, which recognises a 1 as being start um, or a 0 as being stop. Um, incidentally, if I would just uh, turn it on and leave it, uh, and this sound has a particular decay which will um, kind of keep playing to the end of the file. Um, SF Play doesn't know that that file has reached its end, um, so as far as the toggle is concerned, that stays on. So I'd have to turn that off before I can get it to play again. But that's a, that's a, just a minor detail. Okay, um, <clears throat> so that that's as I say a very very basic patch, but it it helps us to uh, helps to introduce us to some of the kind of critical things about Max. Incidentally, if you did not get a sound with that, um, then uh, there might be a problem with your uh, Max routing to the sound card. Um, so Max offers you some preference options to uh, to deal with that. So we'll go up to options up here um, and you have this audio status uh, option. So I'll click on that um, and that brings up a dialogue which uh, is should be relatively familiar insofar as uh, kind of preferences for other DAWs are concerned uh, and it's got a means once again of turning audio on and off so you'll see all the buttons that represent on and off for audio flick on and off in conjunction with when I press this um, and it also gives me driver information to, to choose my inputs and output devices so here's my I can choose I mean it's on the right one for me at the moment but you might just want to check that it's the right one for you on your machine there's other options down here I mentioned sample rate um, earlier in relation to the number of numbers that get sent along these um, stripy patch cables all the time. Um, if I were to change that to 96,000 uh, then we would get 96,000 uh, numbers being sent down these patch cords every, uh, every second. Uh, there are other options as I say down here we won't worry about them too much I suppose CPU limit uh, which tells you how much power um, your patch is, is using. That might come up a little bit later on, but we won't worry about it too much for now. So that's the audio status window. Um, <clears throat> since this part of the tutorial was really about uh, kind of the differences between Max and MSP, I'm going to stop that because hopefully that's now clear um, and we'll move on to talk a little bit more about SF Play uh, in, a, in another tutorial.